Hey, hey, friends, what's up? Um, so today I'm going to be um, doing some research on Gatsby and um, talk to my um, boss. <laughs> I guess he's my boss, sort of my boss. He tells me what to do and I listen. And, <laughs> and I said, hey, so we need to do some research on Gatsby for work. And um, I said, how about I like remake my website in, um, using Gatsby? That's something I've been wanting to do. Uh, my website is like totally not impressive um, and also like definitely not responsive. So I, I've been wanting to, to do work on it. It seemed like a pretty good opportunity to, to try Gatsby out and see um, if we can do something actually cool here. Um, and it has like plenty of stuff, all my talks, workshops, and um, I just updated it to have a new appearance here on the podcast. So yeah, there's like a lot of stuff in here um, that like I could make not only look nicer, but uh, I'm more interested in making it um, use Gatsby so that I can figure out how Gatsby works. Um, and so yeah, this is the the repo for it. I've got a storybook to help me with my um, like development of stuff. Um, I have like not reloading because the way that this works is this is actually um, you'll notice doesn't have the React logo enabled. And the reason is because React isn't actually on this page. I, I generate this HTML with React. So this is all like generated stuff, which is kind of interesting. Um, it, uh, the, the way that I do that is I have this generate and we have each one of the pages has this render to file. Um, and I use this render component to file and I specify the, where it should go. Um, so this is the home. Here I have um, appearances index.html. So these are all like index.html files. Um, and I'm using Rx. Uh, this is, see, my, my website is where I like toy around with stuff. This is the only time I've ever actually used Rx before. And like, I did a horrible job. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing here with this stuff. So. Um, yeah, so I'm actually kind of excited to get rid of all this weird generate stuff. Um, I won't need Storybook anymore if I'm using Gatsby. Um, and so, yeah, let's hopefully, um, oh yeah, and I'm doing some weird things uh, to support inline scripts. It'll actually two string this um, uh, script function. There it is. Yeah, so I, I take this function and I two string it and that's what I insert into the HTML kind of stuff that I do. So um, yeah, it'd be sweet if I could get rid of all of this stuff and just generate some pages with Gatsby. Um, and so that's my goal. And in the process, hopefully figure out how Gatsby all uh, works and stuff. So yeah, let's go check out the Gatsby docs. Um, yeah, so somebody just mentioned that they were looking for Gatsby plus Netlify and saw my tweet, uh, which is serendipitous. Um, as a matter of fact, this is a Netlify site. I'm not sure if there's a way we can pull that. Maybe if we here and look at there's or yep, there it is, Netlify. So anyway, okay, so here we are. We can build modern websites with React. Beautiful. Oh, I need that. I need it to be beautiful, secure. Yeah, I guess so. Blazing fast. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, okay, good, let's get started. It's blazing fast modern site generator for React. That's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna npm install. I don't wanna globally install. I don't like global installs, but um, I'm gonna use that binary and I'll just use npx. So we'll just do exactly what they're telling me to do here. I'm going to, you know, it might be better for me to do this in like a different project, or maybe I'll do this, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do this in same project, just a subdirectory um, for now. So we'll make, I have an alias um, called mg, make a directory. So I call it make go, make go. Um, and then I'll npx paste that um, thing. I think somebody's coming in. I'll be right back. It's my dog. Um, you want to see my dog? There she is. Uh, 
Um, yeah, okay, sweet. So hopefully that gave Gatsby some time to install. I'm going to live stream installing a bunch of stuff. I had to, with NPX, you have to install Gatsby, and then Gatsby's got to do all that stuff. So let's just read this while that's happening. Um, oh, so we're going to create another directory called Gatsby. That's all right. Um, then I run this Gatsby develop. Um, hot reloading development server eight four eight thousand. That's cool. Source pages. Gatsby build. Gatsby serve. Okay. Nice. They have help. So there are other starters. Many other official and community starters. I'm actually personally not a huge fan of starters. I don't like. I I will. I actually I love starters. I just love the starters that I wrote. Because I don't like a whole bunch of stuff. Places that I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so it's a CLI tool. It lets you install starters with Gatsby new. Site directory, URL of the starter. Okay, that makes sense. So there's the starter blog. So we've got the default. Take a look at the demo. Um, hi, people. Page two. All right. Cool. I think... That actually will be good for what I'm building. So good. And then there's a blog. I'm not doing a blog now, but eventually I might um, put my my blog on the site. Um, hello world. Aha, that's that's actually the one I probably want. Um, where it's just as bare bones as can be. Um, we've got pages. We've got an index. And we just export a component. Nice. And I like that. And I like that it's in the source directory. With um, um, with Next.js, it's like right at the root directory pages. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, interesting. So there's actually no configuration in here. Um, it's all convention-based. But I know that there's like some pretty heavy configuration options. Okay, so we've got Cosmic JS. I don't know what that is. The CMS. Like no styles. Arial, your thing. Lots of interesting stuff there. For UI. Okay. Uh, TypeScript. Hope. Bootstrap. Logs. Oh, holy cow, I just noticed the scroll thing. What? Got lots of okay, neato. Uh, recipes. Cool. Team starter. Okay, cool. Let's look at styling really quick. I think I want CSS and JS. We'll be using emotion. Yeah. Okay. All Gatsby plugin emotion. Do that and emotion, emotion server, react motion, and then add my Gatsby config. I keep on feeling like, oh great, it used yarn. I wish that I could, like, maybe I should uninstall yarn. I want to use npm most of the time. Um, okay, whatever. We'll just keep going. We are. Um, so we've got a bunch of stuff, Gatsby browser. So that's interesting. Gatsby config. We've got these plugins. Ooh, React Helmet, that's fun. Um, the plugin manifest, I'm guessing this is um, for a like PWA um, service worker stuff, which is cool. Line thing. Nice. That's be node. Okay, that's something to look at. That's also interesting. We've got the MIT license, 2015, baby. Um, interesting. I've got a package lock and a yarn lock. Delete that yarn one. That won't be. Um, okay, so we've got Gatsby 2.0 released yesterday, I think. Um, 
bunch of the plugins, latest versions, which everything here. Cool, they got prettier. Just uh, make their prettier. Semi, no semicolons. What? Friends after my own heart. Um. Okay. Well, we'll look. We'll look at that. Actually, you know what? I think I've got it in my clipboard here. Here. Boom. Right. There. Copied it. Prettier settings. Okay. So then we've got a source pages. Perfect. Images. Nice. Components. Um, yes, Aaron Yu, Gatsby 2.0 was released yesterday. Logan calls saying, I use React Static often, but I thought this would be good to check out Kent demoing this. I haven't looked too much at Gatsby before. Logan, so interesting fact, I happened to be in a meeting with um, the creator of um, React Static and Gatsby, and they are definitely planning on collaborating. Um, and so, I'm pretty sure that Gatsby supports almost everything React Static supports. Just React Static is a little bit nicer to work with. Like it's it um, it has a more laser focused uh, set of use cases, and I'm pretty sure that um, React Static or, or Gatsby is planning on on kind of supporting things in a nice way that React Static supports, so that you can kind of all coalesce into this one awesome tool, which I think will be great. Um, okay, cool. So we're, um, yeah, we've got our layout, static query. So this is where I've like, I have tried this before, tried, um, Gatsby before, and this is where I kind of freaked out. Like, I don't know how to use GraphQL very well. Like what's all this query stuff. Um, so this was all kind of new for me. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Got some HTML or, or some CSS in here. A lot of it. 600 lines of CSS. Boy, this is all going to go away. Um, I really do my thing. Got a uh, thing here. What is... Okay, do we have Easlint installed in this project? Looks like nope. Um, so it's probably like messing up because I have a project with another project. So. Okay, cool. And then we got page two and page one and it's layout. Okay, so there's nothing special about Gatsby and this components directory. I am importing these components myself, um, which is great, fine. Uh, I prefer that, having some magic thing. So I just export, in this pages directory, I export a component, and from there, work just. Okay, nice, let's, let's uh, run this thing. So it, in our package JSON, we have build, develop, test, no test, um, but we'll, we can get that later. So I'm going to CD into the Gatsby site. Then I'll npm run develop. Hmm. More questions? Oh, hey, Tanner, what's up? Oh, okay, so React Static is going to cruise on its own. Well, that's great. Um, I, I hope that it serves people really well like it has been. Cool. Um, Fun that you were uh, that you're here. I didn't know that you were gonna be here, Tanner. Glad that glad to have you here. Um, are you still forced to use GraphQL and Gatsby? No, actually, I don't think that you are forced to use uh, GraphQL. Um, it is a good idea for many reasons, but um, like it, what I'm probably going to do when I start um, is I'm going to continue with the way that I've got things. So what, the way that my pages work uh, here, I've got workshops and I have workshop data. It's just this giant array of, of data, and I'll probably just keep doing that. I don't think I need um, GraphQL for, for anything. Okay, cool. So I've got localhost 8000. I have got graphical here too. Let's, uh, we'll open that up. Oh, two, host 8000. Now it's been super big. Okay, default starter suite, and then I can go back home, and then I can go page whatever 404 enter hold on a second i didn't think that it 404 wait what how did that i would expect my 404 page 
Oh, interesting. I think that I need to, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. This makes sense. So, um, yeah. So when I deploy this to Netlify, I'm going to have to say, if you can't find a resource that matches the URL the users um, entered, then send them to 404. That's what I have to do. Okay, that that's fine. That, uh, so the, the development server isn't going to send it to 404. So this 404 actually has no actual relevance in Gatsby as far as it appears. Um, okay, so we got a question from Mateo. Has anyone tried Vue? I, I am sure thousands of people have tried Vue, tens of thousands. Um, but anyone here at work, we're experimenting with Vue and Next, and it seems great. Also, any opinions on Gatsby versus Next? So I can tell you, um, so I haven't done much more than Hello World and Vue. Uh, I have two problems with Vue. Um, templates, I just can't go back to templates, but I know you can use JSX. So my other problem is um, mutation as a form of um, like state management. I just really dislike mutation. Um, and so like, I know I could use JSX and I'm sure there's a way I could like have a set state library or something um, that has a like a mutable kind of uh, style. But then like, why would I do that? I have React. Um, so uh, Gatsby versus Next. Um, so I did Next for the Glamorous website. If you go to Glamorous Rocks, Rocks. This is a Next website and it was pretty cool. I was pretty happy with it. It's like totally static. Um, no actual server going on here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I liked it pretty okay, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like uh, Gatsby better, um, mostly because it uh, like I'm I'm more interested in like an actual static site generation and Gatsby's um, integration with GraphQL. I feel like is is I like that. Um, let me just read through some of these other oh tanner retracted a message i don't know what it said um yeah oh server time 404 routing automatically well cool. i'll have to check that out when this happens okay sweet so that i think that's all i'm going to record um so my next step here is i'll probably redo this um or i, I don't know I'll, I'll rearrange things and start moving all of my stuff over to gatsby um, I'm not going to live stream all that because um, this is their short videos for these dev tips. But hopefully that uh, was helpful and interesting and it seemed like pretty easy to get things going. All that it really comes down to is you have this pages thing and you have some you export some components and those components can um, in fact use um, queries. This is a static query which I believe um, it, like it's all build time. Stuff. So it's going to query the site metadata and stuff, but I don't have to do that. Like I know what, what this site metadata is going to be. So I could insert all this stuff directly and no big deal. Right. So, um, yeah, so I, I don't have to, uh, J, uh, GraphQL stuff and I probably won't not at first. I'll learn that later. Um, okay, cool. Let me. What do you think of WordPress plus Gatsby? I think it's great. If you like WordPress as your CMS? Use it. Use Gatsby to, to build the site. I think that's cool. Uh, what's a Chrome add-on? Okay, everybody asked me this. Pretty much every video, it's palette tab, um, and it's great. I've been using it for years. Love it. Check it out. Okay, I'm out. Hope you have a great day. Bye.